And we welcome in women's head basketball coach Karen Aston and associate head coach Travis Mays. Let's go ahead and start with your Cedar Hill guard. Join her home. She's the number two prospect in the ESPNW Hoop Girls Top 100. What'd you like about her style of play, coach? Oh, it would be hard to say something that you didn't like about Joyner Holmes. Uh, you know, she's one of those unique players that has a terrific skill set, but also some tremendous athletic ability. Uh, I think her ceiling is extremely high. I don't think she's even seen what her potential can be, but um, I'll let Travis say a few words also, but I, the sky is at the absolute limit for her. She's what you would almost call a, a female version of LeBron. Wow. So how does her style of play fit into Texas's style of play, Coach? Well, uh, first of all, I'll say the style that we're actually uh, recruiting players to play and what we're moving towards is up style tempo. She's extremely athletic, as Coach just mentioned. She can run the floor. She can get the ball off the rim, push it herself just like a LeBron James, and she can finish at the rim as well as shoot a three-point shot. So there's no way she wouldn't fit in anyone's style of play. Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about Alicia Sutton. What did you like about her? She is the epitome of a point guard. Uh, Alicia is, and everybody calls her Suge. Uh, and, and it will be a name that will stick around here for a long time because she will make, she'll make a huge impact just because of her ability to distribute. Uh, she's a different style of a point guard than Brooke is, so I think that they will complement each other terrifically. Uh, Suge is one of those players that will always try to get everybody else involved, yet she can score. Uh, her vision is terrific. Her her um, her ball handling skills are terrific. So she's one that uh, you know I say all the time. You see players that have a ball, the ball on a string, and Suge is one of those. And Travis, she is a true point guard, ranked second nationally at her position. What do you expect Alicia to bring to the guard play when she finally arrives here on the 40? Well, when you see, I mean, all the things that Coach mentioned, those are her skill sets, but Suge absolutely loves the game of basketball. And, and that type of vibe just comes from her. She wants to make everyone feel uh, as if they're open or can shoot the particular shot because what she does, she puts every player in a position where they can score. She never gives the ball to them at a position where they can't score. She almost puts them in their comfort zone. And, uh, and I think that's a special, special ingredient for a point guard. What does it say, Coach Aston, when you land these two type of caliber players about Texas, that they chose Texas as the place they wanted to play basketball moving forward? Well, I, see th I think that they see our vision. Uh, you know, first of all, I want to say that uh, Coach Mays uh, is, is the forefront of our, of our coaching staff w within, within the staff, and uh, he's done a terrific job of really leading our other assistants and, and getting everybody on the same page with our recruiting. And uh, I think everybody knows I'm, I'm fond of recruiting, and, and I believe it is the lifeblood of your program. But these, these guys in particular really saw the vision. Uh, they, they came to camp, and they came at a pretty young age, uh, Jada included. And I think they saw the, the attitude of our players. I think you also would contribute this most of all to our players because they are the ones that built the relationships during camp and wanted these guys to come here and help our program be great. So I think it really starts with the attitude of your players and that they, they want to be great and they want great players to come to Texas. So I think they could feel the vibe. I think they could feel the vision that we have here for this program. Did you have a hard time selling the message of Texas and what you guys were trying to accomplish down here in Austin when you hit the recruiting trail? Uh, actually, no, because we have such a fantastic product to sell. We have Austin, we have the University of Texas, but what we have here is some special individuals, as Coach mentioned, they, they see the vision. And when you have kids that want to be a part of building something that they think is going to be special, and there's so many kids that want to play with these caliber players because not only their talent on the court, but the young ladies that they are. Uh, they're so attractive. Uh, they play with so much energy. They play with so much fun. But they play the game the way it should be played. And I think we have to feel, you know, extremely excited as a coaching staff to get those caliber players and young ladies. Well, Karen, no Duncanville players this year, but you did pull <laughs> one out of Mesquite Horn High School. What did you like about six foot guard Jada Underwood? You know, it's it's funny that you asked that because I, I had someone else ask me that today. And Jada, Jada, unfortunately injured. Her, uh, her knee last year uh, in the middle of the year, it was around December, so she did not get to play this summer. And I had not seen her play for a while, although I saw her obviously at a very young age. And in September, she was released to play, and I went to the first, uh, what you would call kind of an evaluation period in the month of September. And I saw Jada, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I forgot how good you are. 
And uh, she's one of those players that she can do a lot of things also. She's very versatile. She can play multiple positions. She's strong. She's competitive. And she really plays the game the way it's supposed to be played. So when you add her to the mix, I mean, she's probably one that people aren't talking about very much because they've forgotten about her. But she's as talented as they are. So, um, you know, she's going to fit right into our style of play. She loves to defend. She loves to rebound. She's a big guard that um, really, I think, during her injury, she she increased her range. Uh, those That's what's so noticeable about all of these players is that we started recruiting them when they were young, yet every year they've gotten better. Uh, you know, Joyner can shoot the three now. Jada is really consistent with the three. So they are just continuing to grow their game. Well, excited to see these women when they finally end up here in Austin on the 40 Acres. Congratulations on the recruiting class. We appreciate you guys coming in. Thank you. Thank you.